Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Myra. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. Today I have another back to school video and it's back to school outfits. It's finally August, so that means school is back in session. The outfits I'm about to show you, I would personally wear them if I were going back to school. Most of them require layering because if you have a dress code just like my school did, then you won't get dress coded. But some of them I paired with crop tops, so if you're in college or you don't have a dress code, these are also perfect for you. Fall is literally right around the corner, so you can also style these for fall. It's like a summer to fall transition. I will link all the outfits down below, so if you like one, you can check that out. And I will also link similar pieces to them just in case some of them are not in stock. But if you're as excited as I am to see these outfits, then just keep on watching. For the first outfit, I am wearing this flannel from Forever 21. And I paired it with this white turtleneck from Shein. I also paired it with these blue jeans from Target. If you have a dress code, you can button the flannel so no skin is showing. But if not, you can leave it open. It's up to you. The flannel is distressed on the bottom, which I think is so cute. And I love how the white turtleneck makes the colors of the flannel pop out. The jeans are distressed on the knees. So if your dress code doesn't allow that, I would just pair it with some black or blue jeans. This is a quick outfit I would put on if I was running late to school, but you know, still look like I tried. Honestly, anyone can pull this outfit and look amazing in it. For the hair, I did some messy space buns, but you can do any hairstyle you would like. I just thought these were cute. But overall, I think this is a cute effortless outfit. This next outfit is also very casual but cute. It's simple but comfortable. I just put a hair scarf like a headband for the hair. Tell me why I feel like I'm going to camp in this outfit. I'm just wearing a simple white baby tee from Forever 21 and I paired it with these mom shorts from Shein. I love mom shorts for school because they are not too short. But if you feel like you're going to get dress coded, you can either buy longer shorts or just wear it with jeans. And I'm just wearing some white Air Forces with this. This would also be so cute if you put an oversized sweater with it. Your girl doesn't have one, but she needs to get one ASAP. Another great look is this white button-up. I just tied the front and tucked it in. I paired this top with these blue jeans, and I also added a belt with it. I love this belt because it's colorful, and the light neutral colors of the button-up and jeans make it stand out. This is also cute for school. You can tuck it in or pull the button up down so no skin shows. Also, if you don't have a chain belt, I recommend getting them from Amazon. They have the cutest ones and I always get them from there. And for the hair, I did a cute messy bun. Simple but cute. This outfit just screams back to school for me. I'm wearing the same turtleneck underneath. I have this blue vest on top. I styled it with two messy buns again, and I like how the white jeans and the turtleneck make the blue pop out. If you don't have a dress code, you can just wear the vest without the turtleneck. That looks cute too. Or you can buy a crop vest to show some skin if you don't like how covered it is. A vest definitely gives school vibes. You can never go wrong with a crop vest, they are just so cute. This fit is my absolute favorite. I'm obsessed. I'm wearing a t-shirt. You can never go wrong with one. I tied the shirt to give it a more fitting cropped look, but you can tuck it in or wear a more cropped t-shirt if your school doesn't mind. The maxi skirt is so cute, but the slit on the side is a little high. So again, if you can't wear this to school, I would put some black biker shorts underneath to make your fingertip length and you should be good. This is more of an edgy look, but I love it. I put my hair half up and half down with a black ribbon and I think it puts this all together. I love this. This outfit is giving me Pinterest vibes. I would definitely wear this in high school. The combat boots are making this outfit look so nice. It's one of my favorites. Okay, this one makes you look so smart. I have this white polo that I cropped and I tied a black ribbon to it. This one is giving me schoolgirl vibes. I paired it with these black pants that have slits on the bottom. You can also wear it with black jeans. 
I don't have black jeans, so that's why I paired it with these, but jeans also look nice. You can also get a longer polo so it's not too cropped. This other outfit, I loved how it came out. I'm wearing this marble squared neck top and it has a corset type texture. You can definitely wear this to school, dress code or not. I paired this with black pants again, but black jeans would look good too. My hair is in a high pony with a hair scarf. I just thought it was cute. Most of these outfits I paired with white air forces or combat boots and either would look good with any of these outfits. And for the last outfit, I'm wearing a Nirvana t-shirt, but you can wear any type of t-shirt you'd like. I put a white turtleneck underneath for layering and also paired this with black pants. I love this outfit. This will definitely not be out of dress code. I'm wearing combat boots and the hair is just a high pony with hair pieces on the front. It's definitely a 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, please like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications if you would like to see more like these. Comment below what your favorite outfit was and what you're most excited about going back to school is. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!